third on the docket, Randy Jackson featuring Paula Abdul, Dance Like There's No Tomorrow. This video was charged with the overuse of wind machines, which actually knocked Paula over seven times during the shoot. Jurors should be aware that even though she's dancing like there's no tomorrow, Paula Abdul won't actually have a singing career tomorrow. Randy Jackson featuring Paula Abdul. Um, I think it's more like Paula Abdul featuring Randy Jackson, dog. Dance like there's no tomorrow. Ooh, <laughs> it's sort of a command. Dance like there's no tomorrow! Uh. Randy and Paula. Why didn't they just get Simon to play a tambourine and Seacrest do a moonwalk across the goddamn floor? These two would make a great opening act for the Rolling Stones. Because they're old, stupid. I hesitate to say that this song is sung by Paula Abdul because that is 8 million percent not her voice. Let's be honest, Paula Abdul can't sing Happy Birthday without a computer's help. All I want to do is dance like this, tomorrow. What is this? The Matrix? Hey, is this the video with Keanu Reeves? He's hot. Here comes the greatest lyric in the history of recorded song. Feeling so Hollywood, how I got everybody staring. The rise of the cameras, and I'm loving all the attention. What is that, a camera? The rise of the cameras, and I'm loving all the attention. Most flattering snapshot ever. I'm so ready to move my body. Paula Abdul directed this video herself. Mm. Well, at least she's not bawling her eyes out and wasted like she is an American Idol. If you ever wondered what would happen if you gave a 45-year-old dwarf a bottle of tequila, some sleeping pills, and a video camera, voila! There is that strange one move that when they do that ship scene. Uh-oh, looks like someone lost a contact lens. Why are they looking the floor? We have mops for that, or paper towel. Get up, girls. Oh, I get it, so they're waves. What are you, a f pirate? Hey. How much do you bet that she said, I'm king of the world, like over and over again? Okay, Abdul, that's enough. Get down. I'd really like to see a boat fly across the screen. I just really want one. Thanks. <laughs> can you do that again? Get out of here, boat. Again? Oh, look, a boat! Uh, again? There's a boat! <laughs> oh, this is the greatest day ever. Hold on, can we just pause that for one sec? Because what is going on in this frame? <gasps> it must be hard for her, because, like, the only way she got to do this video was if Randy could <laughs> the ass. It's, it's gross. It's dirty. Look how Randy's humping her from behind! Seriously, grow up, Randy. Wow, that sure is a sharp outfit, Paula. Like a lot of corsets, you know, that she had to kind of be poured into it. If you're gonna make a comeback video, at least show some skin. There's no bending over. She drops a dime, it's staying on the ground. Hey, homegirl, you keep dancing like there's no tomorrow, and there won't be a tomorrow. Not with those knees. It's like watching a 90-year-old lady play beach volleyball. Paula just wants to dance like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, I get it, but it's just disgusting. I just want to Dance like there's no tomorrow. That's her. You guys are American Idol, and this is the best you can come up with? I would like for her to shut up like there's no tomorrow. You owe an apology to every reject you booted off American Idol. Pretty cheap, Paula. Pretty cheap. I'd rather blow William Hung than listen to this shit. Yeah, I'm not afraid to admit that. Paula, first off, you look beautiful tonight. You're so special and glorious. I sentenced myself to rotten hell for all the mean things I said about Paula Abdul. Everything about it was choppers. I love Paula Abdul. Forever your girl, straight up now tell me what? I really love your spirit. Just stick to what you do best. And the colors of your voice. Sing cold-hearted snake and tell untalented kids they're going nowhere. I sentence Randy Jackson and Paula Abdul to have a threesome with Simon Cowell. Simon. <laughs> You're 60 for Christ's sakes. I am just, I'm. That's it. Randy Jackson and Paula Abdul, sentenced to be talent judges on the highest rated show on television and make millions of dollars. Somehow that doesn't seem fair.